Now I wanted to make this video to support some files I just posted over at Thingiverse on this uh, Lockline um, check valve water bottle. Um, I know there's a lot of individuals out there because of whatever disability cannot pick up a bottle of water or, or even have a hard time sipping out of a long straw. Um, I figure, I remember the very first time I had to make this for somebody, I was setting up an environmental control for this client, uh, allowing her for sip and puff control to control telephones, um, TVs, and appliances. And the caregiver said, you know, all this electronic stuff is great. However, if we can't get her to drink, it's all for naught. And I thought, well, that makes perfect sense. And that was many, many, many water bottles ago here, too. Her problem, of course, with a long straw, she would sip up, work really hard to try to get the fluid up there. If she had to take a breath, zoom, all the fluid just went right back in the bottom, and she was starting all over again, too. So that's what this is right here. This is actually the uh, uh, check valve part right down here. And I actually also made this top part I'm going to talk about here, too. In fact, the top part fits what's called this PCO1881, technical term for uh, the threads that fit this um, most soda bottles, water bottles, uh, a lot of bottles out here, too. So this just threads on a bottle, and this actually interfaces to the half-inch lock line. And like I said, I already put I already put these files on OT and AT at Thingiverse here too, and they are printed in um, uh, full fine detail uh, and 100% uh, infill. And now I did make these out of PLA, and PLA is is, is kind of generally considered safe for food. However, they are actually making now food grade PLA so that might be something you want to look into as well so um, here is the entire thing this is actually here's the check valve of course it's upside down here too uh, and here, of course here's a screw top here too and um, what you can see here is that I don't use half inch for the entire um, check valve or this entire straw I found out that there's a lot of weight here and, and if you have this how long it is um, it can get too heavy and not stay there. You need something to support it. So just decrease some of the weight by going from the half inch down to a quarter inch. And that actually will help you out quite a lot. And how long you need it, that's just how much lock line you're going to have and how long to make the hoses here too. Now, I know lock line comes in different colors. I like putting some high visibility thing on the end there just so someone can see it. Uh, you don't want to get poked in the eye or something here too by that. So, But yeah, that's the entirety here too. Now, I used to manufacture these things for clients. And I was always thinking, wow, they're not that hard to build. Uh, however, they had a few barriers where people couldn't make them. Because first off, down here, this is actually what's called a step uh, drill bit. And the deeper, of course, you go, the bigger the hole. And uh, you'd have to have one of these things. And these things aren't very cheap. But it gives you a nice, clean hole in the type, of, appropriate type of sports bottle, which you'd have to have in the two. And then you could use a, uh, the lock line threaded starter to take off here, too. And, of course, you have to have a drill, preferably a drill press. And all these things were barriers to keep people from making it. So I thought, well, let's just simplify the whole thing here. And this is actually the check valve I used to make. These were made from nylon, which is actually food grade again. This is the bottom. Of course, here's the tube going up to the straw. And this is actually has a 5 16th stainless steel. Remember, stainless steel. You have to use a stainless steel ball bearing. Something chrome or something else steel would probably rust and um, uh, poison somebody or something. Yeah, but use a stainless steel. And the problem with buying these manufactured pieces is that the check valve, how it works, is, of course, when the fluid comes out, it pushes the check valve up a little bit, and the minute that the fluid stops, it, it tries to drain back down, the ball bearing plugs the hole, and unfortunately, the seal was not manufactured very well. It was never designed for this purpose, and I could never figure out a way. I tried to try different drill bits and tried to clean them up, and I could never do a good job of getting a nice seal on these um, nylon pieces. And so what I did, I actually made it my own check valve. This is the t this is the top, the threads on for the lock line. But these two bottom pieces here, those thread together to make the um, the check valve. Again, five sixteen stainless steel. And here's the bottom here. And many times when you print these things, I found out you might just get lucky and hey, it works really good right off uh, from the printer. Um, 
But uh, because this is PLA and it's, it's sort of easy to modify with heat, what I ended up doing here too is actually I can stick that stainless steel. There's enough of a magnetism to, uh, with the stainless steel. And I put it on a magnet, heat it up with a torch. Um, and then if I get it hot enough, what I can do, I can just push it in the bottom there and it'll remold that PLA. If you get it too hot, it's going to stick. If that happens, just leave it there till it cools down. You probably got a good seal. But uh, yeah, and you might have to do it two or three times until you finally get that working well here too. In fact, this is it right here. It fits right into a um, um, regular water bottle. And I'll show you how this thing works here too. It fits in the top. And I put some food coloring in here so you can see the fluid here too. But what you really want, if you have to stop, take a breath uh, before you suck more fluid, well, it shouldn't fall down too fast. Uh, if it just goes zip in the bottom or your chuck valve is not working very well. And again, this is okay. It could be better, but uh, if you can get here, that's pretty fine. And really, it's not a bad thing to have this thing not perfect. In fact, you're not going to get it perfect. Uh, and those that I've actually had a uh, chuck valve that worked really, really well, sometimes it drip fluid down on them. And I had one person actually had a siphon. It actually <laughs> got them pretty wet then too. So, yeah. But, the, yeah, shoot for that then too. If you can get it nice and slow on the motion back here too. So, okay. Now, I use one quarter inch outside diameter tubing, which is pretty small on the inside. And I found out that if you use a great big large straw, well, that's a lot more weight for an individual to pull up. If they're weak, oral muscles aren't the best, it's just going to be a really hard time for them to uh, use a long straw. So what I do here, I use this small diameter straw. However, if I would have taken this small diameter straw right to the end of this check valve I made, this particular piece of PLA at the end here would be so small, it'd probably be fragile and break off. So as it is right now, this is 6.5 millimeters or one quarter inch. So what I use, I, I use a little short piece of this larger tubing that fits over that quarter inch. And then on the other end, that quarter inch outside tubing just fits right into it. And there's another advantage here using that because a lot of this tubing has a kind of a curve to it. Well, if you take this other piece here and curve it the opposite way, it's going to keep that check valve almost vertically. And that's kind of what you want. You don't want it sideways here. You want that ball to be able to be dropping right down and kind of block the hole of the check valve then too. So and really the seal here is really good. That's not a problem. Now, the problem when you're using a straw, and this is why I want anybody to use this to have this thing checked out by a professional, is that straws can be contraindicated, which means not advisable to be used for somebody. If a person is using a straw, what happens is that the speed of the fluid speeds up so much it shoots it in the back of the throat and they <coughs> cough and aspirate. Here's my video demonstration of this here, if I can get this thing started here, using a, a regular straw. Fluid just shoots in the back and they aspirate. Now, some people can tolerate thin liquids, but some people can tolerate thin liquids, but aspirate when using a straw because of that increased speed then too. So, what I had to do here, uh, in fact, well here, this is what aspiration is, okay? Because if you have a, a esoph uh, esophagus here, fine, but the minute air goes, fluids go in the front there, what happened right then is that actually you're aspirating liquids, and that can cause aspiration pneumonia. Many, many, many times you'll see an increase of, um, of temperature 30 so minutes after your one person drinks or something. But some people are just silent aspirators. They don't cough or anything. And like I said, you can get pneumonia from this, from aspiration here too. So always have a professional check this out. I was real fortunate. Um, one of my friends was actually the director of a rehab facility, and um, he actually ran some of these straws through this visual fluoroscopy studies here too. And sure enough, if an individual can tolerate thin liquids, this straw actually helped. But if a person aspirated on thin liquids, of course, this straw would not help. But have this thing checked out then too, so if you have to. Um, so aspiration. So what I ended up doing, I had a client many, many years ago. He had MS. And no matter what I say, no matter what anybody said, he was going to use a straw. He could tolerate thin liquids, but there's no way he could pick up anything. He was so weak, and he had no muscles to be able to just pick up anything. So he was going to use a straw. He had used a straw. So I ended up making 
Well, what I had to do was making a safer straw. I call this my safe tea straw. Here's the tea. It's nothing more than a tea barb. And what I did, I ended up cutting off the ends or the sides, I should say, of the tea. And it makes sure it's a barb that really fits down into the tubing that you cannot pull out. You don't want anybody to choke, choke on this thing here, so it's got to be really secure. And then clean up the ends here so it's nice and smooth. And what that does then, okay, here's the original one. That's the original one that shoots it right to the back of the throat. Okay. And then here is what happens when you put that safety straw. It goes sideways. It's like drinking from a cup then too. It gives you more time for bolus control and it doesn't have the fluid shooting the back. So this is a real simple, simple solution that worked very, very well. Um, so safety straw. Okay. So anyway, I get the modular hose. That's where the lock line all comes from. And these people are into instant gratification. If you order on Monday, usually you have it in your doorstep on Wednesday. I love that then too. So um, the stainless steel ball bearings I get from Amazon. They're relatively cheap. The nylon tee, make sure it fits your straw very, very well. Uh, sometimes you might even have to heat the straw up a little bit, the plastic, to, just to get it in there. But once it sets, it's there. And use a good water bottle. And, and by that, I mean you want something to get some structure to it. Some water bottles, you know, if you take them out, you can just crush them because there's nothing there but just a thin plastic. Those things aren't very well. You want this thing to stand up here, too. So... Uh, and also, if you need to attach this to a wheelchair, they have these little water bottle holders for bicycles. And this is not one. A bicycle has a little um, uh, tubing connector in the back. will fit a bicycle, will fit a wheelchair just perfect. And so uh, that makes it real simple. Bike shops have them. I've also seen that in big box stores and anything that has anybody place that sells bicycles and things like that then too. So well, anyway, I hope this helps. Um, it's really been marvelous for a lot of my clients, as I'm sure it will be for yours too. But remember, good things and bad things. You might help them, but don't help them aspirate. So have this thing checked out. So anyway, hope this helps.